Hey guys, I'm Mike. Welcome back to the Sim Racing Den. Today I'm taking a look at Turn Racing's BB2 button plate. So this is a universal um, button plate to, that works with a variety of different rims as well as different quick release systems. It's probably, if not, one of the most affordable um, steering wheel button plates on the market right now. Um, when you compare it to something like the Sim Racing Bay BB Ultra or Asher's um, B24 button plates, you know, the price is extremely attractive for this. Obviously, there are some sacrifices that were made, um, this being an all plastic construction with the exception of the, the paddle shifter housings, whereas uh, those other button plates are, are typically all metal. However, it's, it's a very high quality plastic. You know, there's a little bit of flex if I was to pull on it like this. But when you're driving, you don't feel any any issues or any flex. So it's you know it's a it's a it's a nice thick high quality plastic. It doesn't feel cheap to me. It feels um, what you would expect for the price point. Um, the buttons actually have a really nice feel to them. A good spring back, you know, tactile feel. All the knobs, the uh, the funky switches here. Um, everything feels really nice. Had no issues with any of these. It's got a nice click with the rotary encoder, and you know it's not too loose that you could accidentally make an adjustment so you've got a total of six buttons uh, two funky switches on the left and right that you can also push in and then you've got two rotary encoders that also push in as well for changing things brake balance abs that kind of thing so I, I like the combination of of this button plate with a sort of basic gt rim like this i wanted sort of one wheel that looked um, more like a traditional road car wheel or a sports car wheel something that was just very understated that i could use with a variety of cars or driving road cars in a set of corsa and a, and a more approachable wheel let's say when someone comes over wants to try to rig some of the other wheels can be a little bit intimidating with something like this most people are familiar with this shape so it makes uh you know it easy for people that are not tried the sim out before so yeah i'm really happy so far with this with this product the the paddle shifters have a nice feel to them it doesn't have that same sort of really nice feel of engagement that let's say the the bb ultra has but you know these are some of the sacrifices that that you make at this price point however they they don't feel bad um, they have a nice feel to them they're they're actually pretty quiet which i don't mind um, it's it's a nice sort of softer click it's not very strong um, but like i said feels great to drive with the paddle shifters here are adjustable so if you unscrew this knob here just got it a little bit tight um you can move those in and out right so with this wheel i've kind of got it fully all the way out the only problem i don't like and it's just me me being maybe being nitpicky but you know they do move a little bit up and down you can't quite get this as tight as as you'd want to but i mean when you're driving you're not going to be pushing up and down on it so I don't think it's a huge deal now the, the one thing the other thing that i don't like is the size of the paddle shifters that are included it would have been nice to see an option for a larger style gt paddle these are what, what i would consider maybe more of a formula wheel style paddle but when you're using it with a wheel like this i find they're a little bit small so it would have been nice to see an option at purchase or you know something i could purchase uh, separately but uh, it doesn't look like turn racing's offering offering that right now so um, that being said, the paddles are fine. They're, you know, they're carbon fiber, so they have a nice look to them. Feel good. Don't feel any flex or bend in them at all. And then for your connection on the back, you have um, kind of like an Ethernet style jack here. And then that connects USB to directly to your computer. And then it's controlled, you know, like any of the other USB controlled steering wheels, your computer recognizes as a game controller. Then you can map the buttons as you please. So, yeah, and mounting the the SimiCube uh, wheelbase or sorry, the SimiCube quick release on here was no issue. Um, if you have a quick release with a 70 millimeter bolt pattern, you're you're good to go. So, yeah, overall, um, really happy with the wheel. Um, it's definitely not my favorite. I would say right now the BB Ultra is is my go to. Um, but for the price point, if you need something to work with a variety of rims or you have an aftermarket rim but you don't you know you wanted to use it with your rig you don't want to spend too much on a, a button plate i think the turn racing is a fantastic option um and obviously if you're buying a turn racing rim they they pair together excellently so 
yeah, so what I'll do is I'm just going to do a couple laps in this just so you can see how the wheel performs driving and I'll kind of talk about my impressions as we do a lap around the Nordschleifer. Okay guys, so we're here in a 911 GT3 Cup car. Uh, this is one of my favorite cars to drive. It's a little bit of an older 911 GT3 Cup car. It's, it's a little bit hard to control. The back end just wants to give out all the time, much like a lot of 911s. So we'll, uh, we'll try to get through this without any mishaps, but please forgive my driving because I'm still getting used to driving with a GoPro on my head and a microphone in front of my face. So I'll do the best I can and I'll just kind of give you some of my impressions as we're going through a couple corners here. All right, here we go. Just gonna take it slow here. Before we get going. Yeah, so the wheel feels really nice. Um, really feels lightweight, nice and balanced. But uh, definitely not heavy at all. Doesn't add very much additional weight. And you can feel, you know, all the force is still through the wheel. You know, I don't feel any flex, and this is a circuit, obviously, I like to test a lot of equipment on because it's really going to put everything through the paces in terms of your steering, a lot of tricky corners, downshifting, upshifting quite frequently, so it should give us a good feel for the wheel. So yeah, paddles feel nice. Like I said, I just wish the paddles came out a little bit further, or if there was an option for GT paddles instead of these formula paddles, but, you know, it's not too much trouble uh, reaching them but a little bit maybe uh, better with a smaller wheel, it makes sense, but um, just fine with this wheel, to be honest. So the uh, reachability of the buttons, you know, really easy just to kind of put my thumb there, reach the knobs here, no problem. Don't have to take your hands off too far. Yeah, so it feels really nice to control. See if I can start pushing it now a little bit. Excuse my uh, late shifting there. Kind of just paying attention to my uh, what I'm recording here. Yeah, so the paddle, the actuation, you know, feels really nice. Like I said, it's not as um, strong as the, let's say, the click or the actuation on the, the Sim Racing Bay BB Ultra that I have, but you know, it's a nice shift. Um, I like this, the, the sound of it. It's very quiet, um, not very clacky at all. So, which is nice, especially if you're, you know, you race with headphones on like I do typically, as to not disturb the uh, other people in your house. You know, hopefully these paddle shifters won't uh, keep anyone up at night and complaining about your Sim Racing habits. So yeah, really nice product from Turn Racing. I mean, I think if you're looking for a good quality button plate, you know, that works right out the box, looks good, feels good. Um, you know, I think the price point when you compare it to the others is really attractive. Um, you know, especially if you have more than one rim that you want to use and you need multiple plates like this, uh, it can get pretty pricey if you're spending upwards you know, of say upwards of $500. So with this being what, just over 300 US dollars. Oh, here I go screwing up because I'm talking and not paying attention. But um, yeah, if you needed to have multiple ones and that way you could change different buttons and stickers per wheel or different cars, you know, this is one you could have more than one of for sure. Um, and like I said, there's, I don't feel any flex. I don't hear any cracking or any anything weird going on as I'm driving and I run my force feedback decently strong so you know I'm really testing it here and you can see I'm trying to recover on some of these turns so yeah guys I, um, I, I highly recommend this product I think though if you, if you do want something a little bit higher end then you're probably uh, this probably might not be the one for you you're going to be looking at something from Asher Racing um, Simcor makes a really nice button plate that I I do want to test one of these days. Uh, it's probably sits at the higher end uh, of standalone button plates, but um, from the reviews I've seen, that one looks really good, but I think this is your best bet. Um, 
I'm kind of also trying to compare it in my head to uh, what I was used to with my Fnatic wheels. So something like the Universal Hubs that came with uh, Fnatic wheel packages. Um, the buttons to me on those felt a little more like game controller buttons, um, whereas these feel you know, much more higher quality. Just turn my wipers on there. Um, so yeah, and, and the paddles, I don't know, like the Fnatic Club Sport paddles felt really good to me, um, really solid. I, I feel like they feel a little bit better than these, but honestly, I think I think you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, it's it's a thumbs up for me. Um, so if you enjoyed this review, I hope you found it useful and excuse my terrible driving here. Um, hit that like button for me, would really appreciate it. It helps recommend these videos to other people that are interested in sim racing content. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. I'm going to be having a lot more reviews like this coming out over the next few months. Got a bunch of new equipment and a new sim rig setup here that I'm reviewing different things on. And uh, so lots to look forward to in the future. So if you hit that subscribe button, definitely appreciate your support. So until the next one, guys, stay safe. Happy racing. I'm going to try to continue here without screwing up too much. Thanks for watching.